Jack Fowler, Councilman Fowler, and Mr. Sanchez, they've all been so uh, supportive and inspirational over the years. Um, and I appreciate you guys coming today. It means a lot. So, um, for those of you who, who don't know, we uh, we hatched the plan about four or five years ago to save Goat Hill uh, from yeah from being developed, and and the, the, the councilman and the mayor were very supportive of our plan. And a big part of that plan was to build a kids course. It was actually on the plan, and was it was one of those uh, obligations uh, that we had as, as, as a company taking on this project. And uh, it wasn't something we could do right away because we had so many other issues uh, to get the course in shape and to get the clubhouse in shape and get the water right, get the reclaimed water. We had a lot of, a lot of different things that we had to go through in order to get to this point. So uh, today marks the day uh, that we are going to open the playground, which is our kids' course. Um, and I think personally, I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but when we started the process, we started a campaign called Save Go Hill. Save the Goat. Uh, remember, you probably all bought a t-shirt to help support us. But I think today marks the day we can say we've officially saved Go Part of the inspiration for this kids course really goes back to the beginning of golf. Um, those of you who, who might not know, but it, you know, it hasn't really been around that long. I mean, 168 years ago, it, it's actually 400 years or so ago, but up, up to 168 years, there was only there was only about 12 golf courses on the whole planet, and they were all on the east coast of Scotland. But the cool thing about these little courses and these little tiny villages in Scotland is they also had a kids' course that they would put. I mean, you would take a, for instance, Scotland in North Berwick, which is on the east coast of Scotland. They'd have two or three big golf courses, you know, regulation courses. But, but then, then they would also build a kids course, a six hole kids course that was free to the kids. Wow. So it was part of their culture, it was embedded into their culture. Uh, the kids would learn the game and it was just, it was just one of those great things in life, I think, to where they were able to, you know, exercise and meet and be social and, and, and you know, it was great for their whole social fabric. So, this comes from that. I had a chance to spend time over there, and it was really inspirational to me in order to bring this back. Even though we have a million people here, to me it's the same exact thing. Let's teach our kids certain core values, and then that will translate to the rest of their life. Um, so I want to recognize a few people. I hope that's all right. I don't want to take a lot of time doing this, but. But there's been so many people that have made this happen along the way, and, and you know, starting with my original group of core partners, which a few are here. Um, Steve Jess, I don't know where Steve is. Steve, this is these are Goat and Gold partners. Steve has been inspirational and, and just being there all the time, you know, from a business point of view and just a support point of view, and I can't thank you enough. Um, Thanks, Steve. Peter Beans, who is not here, uh, everybody probably knows Peter, little flat cap, tweed coat tie. Uh, he's also our inspirational leader. He brings a lot of heritage of the game to Go Hill, and that means a lot to us. Um, David Emmerich, who is going to be cutting the ribbon. Uh, he's, uh, he and his wife, Marsha. Where's Marsha? Marsha, they do an amazing job uh, running the North Town Music Hall. I mean, this really all started with Dave and Marsha. Uh, to have a place that's a safe haven for our kids, a place that they can learn the game in a, a, a very safe environment, and, uh, not, you know, and the whole environment here is welcoming. Our, our, one of our mottos is everybody's welcome. So that goes a long way. Uh, Another group I gotta thank is, I, you know, it takes a lot of money to do what we've been doing, and I've had to raise money through uh, 
there's really special individuals that uh, that are actually, I call them my Ibex founders because Ibex is probably the most incredible goat there is on the planet. They live in the Alps, they climb rock hills, you know. So there's only, a, I don't, I think there's only one here, but they're all special. One of them, in fact, that isn't here is Bill Murray, the famous actor, comedian. He's actually a partner in Go Hill Park. Uh, but, uh, and I thought, uh, Justin Height would be here, but I don't see Justin. Justin was, uh, he's a local business guy, he's an Oceanside local, and he, he, he stepped up and helped when I needed him. And then another one is Dean Wilson out of here. Dean, uh, he's still a professional, an amazing career on the tour, and now he lives local, and he's, he's really, he's, he loves Go Hill, and he, he showed up when we really needed him most. And Dean, I thank you a bunch, buddy. It's great having you out here. And his little boy Mason and Leanne, his, wife, his girlfriend right there too, and and, and Toby, the, the little dog over there. So he's a Um The other uh, Go Hill partner that just showed up, Jeff Cunningham. and he's just a super talented guy. He and I are the ones that kind of hatched the plan that we that we presented to the council or uh, say go whole plan and, and uh, we never thought we actually did it. <laughs> so, uh, but he also is the mastermind behind all the beautiful logo work that we have, the Go Hill Park logo. It's an icon that's recognized around the world already uh, for what we stand for. You know, and, and what we bring to our community, and we hope that will translate throughout the world. And you know, I just, I really have a big hope of what it does. So, Jeff, thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. Yee! Um, a couple other people I want to recognize that have just been so supportive and, and loyal, and, and you know, without them, we couldn't have done what we've done. And some are here, some are not, but. Jack Collier, who uh, is a long time friend, friend of mine. And first week we were here, that roof at the clubhouse was so leaky that it, you know, and it was so bad. He has a roofing company, he just came in, boom, put a roof on, no questions asked. You know, we got people like that up here. Um, Andy Wood, who did the sign, I don't see him here, but Lance, who has been here every day, doing stuff. Um, Morty. Yeah. Richie, Bernie, and Lupe, and all the concrete boys. I don't see them here, but we just have a great group of special people that really care about this place. They police it themselves. They pitch in when we need help, and, and I'm very grateful. Um, so. One thing that, that really stands out too and when people visit here is our staff. We've, we've been so lucky to attract people that just really get it. They love the Goat Hill culture. They've actually made the culture. Uh, you know, that would be uh, you know, in the shop, Julian, Lisa, Hunter, Katrina, Jim Morrison, Mikey, Jay, uh, outside guys are Gil, Eric, Doug, Sid, Blake, August. And then, of course, our maintenance guys, which none of them are here, but I will tell you that they are the magnificent five. We got five guys here that take care of the 75 acre estate. And people will tell you we got some of the best greens in the county. I mean, there's no doubt about it. You know, so they're not here. I'm not going to get into their names, but I will say that our superintendent, Laz, who, you know, he taught MacGyver how to MacGyver. <laughs> But he's been here 30 years. Uh, when we first took it over, I mean, our greens mower was held together by duct tape and bailing wire. And, you know, we had like, I don't know, three mowers and a couple of golf carts. <laughs> anyway, I wish he was here because I just, I just, I love him. He's one of the best humans on the planet. He's got a heart of gold. And he, you know, I said, hey, Laz, we need to put a fence up just to kind of book in this whole kids' course. And, 
put in three days ago. <laughs> so, but um, really proud of our guys, really proud of our staff. Um, Eli's our manager here. He's, he's been here less than a year, but he is already an yes. picture at this place. And, you know, I want to thank you all you do, man. It's, it's been great. Great having you here. Um, I probably left some people out. I hope I didn't. Um, Ash. Oh, yeah, Lauren. Sorry. Huh? <laughs> Sorry, I left you. Oh, I'm done. Lauren okay. incredible social media. She's been here since day one. She used to work here. She is awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, she was the LC's the biggest player in this place. Anyway, the value of the family unit is great here. So, um, but this course right here, the playground, um, you know, what we really hope and, and Sure, will happen, but to inspire and teach kids the core values of life, not just golf. You know, which include integrity, honesty, sportsmanship, respect, confidence, responsibility, perseverance, courtesy, and judgment. And uh, you know, that's the first T. That those are the core values of the first T, and we embrace those as well. And uh, you know, it's the whole thing about golf is it's a, it's a practice, it's a place to come, it's a place to get exercise, to socialize, to, to get to know yourself a little bit better and, and have some fun in the process. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to introduce or uh, send it over here to D David Emmerich so that he can send you over. Oh yeah, I didn't thank my wife who was late. <laughs> Bye, Mark. Mark. So great. Let me tell you, when we, uh, when we were taking on this project, you know, we, we were knee deep in starting a clothing company, Link Soul. I mean, you know, it's like I needed another thing, like I needed a hole in the head, right? And, uh, I, you know, I didn't even tell her until we actually put the plan in. I said, hey, honey, you know, I don't think we're going to get this, but if we do, are you okay with me doing it? <laughs> And she was just like, oh my God, you have to do that. What are you Aww. kidding me? Absolutely, you got to do it. So she's been so supportive. Thank you, honey. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Tam. Thanks for coming out, you guys. And actually, after we cut the ribbon, Eli's going to go over. There is rules for this thing. This is not a practice area. This is actually a golf course. So we have rules and regulations, which she'll go over. And uh, we have an honor box, which is really cool. So. But anyway, thank you very much, and here's David and Thank you so much. Well, like four years ago, John, well, like John said, four years ago, this was, it was just a dream. And um, I'm a little bit of a dreamer. John's a real big dreamer and visionary, and he gets, he gets things done. And I have an admiration for John. Uh, I met him in 1980, and it's it just like kind of a story of what golf can do. I mean, again, four years ago, this is a dream. I mean, this whole project is going to be for the betterment of all the kids in the community. I mean, golf can take you places. I mean, golf has brought me from a little steel mill town in Lorain, Ohio. When I was in 1974, I qualified for Junior World. I came out, I played Torrey Pines. I went back home and I thought my parents were nuts. There's a beautiful west coast <laughs> and the sun and golf and we're here in the steel mill town so uh, four years after that when I was 21 I moved out to Oceanside and, um, and turned pro and I think this this course again golf can take the kids places and we have a great caddy caddy right now some of our caddies are here and the layer balls are here but you know, our message it's really going to be, this is for the kids in the community of Oceanside. I mean, my goal and one of my lifelong dreams now is to grow the game in Oceanside. And so that Oceanside High School and El Camino High School can beat up on Tory Pines. <laughs> <laughs> so as John alluded to, too, I think golf can take you places. It's the dreams. It's, it's going to be very great for the kids. We're going to teach them some etiquette, sportsmanship, but mostly how to socialize. You know, nowadays so many kids are stuck at home and you know we're gonna get them out here and get them on the course and have them interact with other kids and 
understand the rules of the game and understand that golf is it's a game where an 85 year old person can play with an eight year old, right? I mean, there's not many sports like that where you can communicate and get along like that. So we're extremely um, excited. I think about eight months ago, John was drawing in the dirt. I have a picture of John Nazarel drawing in the dirt. This is going to be the first hole. I swear. <laughs> That's what GOAT's all about, like John said, you know, working class for the world class, and everyone's always welcome. I have that also written down in a little napkin that John and I wrote one night, and uh, we wrote that down. Always, everyone will always be welcome here at GOAT Hill Park, and there's a lot of people to thank the city council, the mayor, Jack, Dean, I mean, just everybody. So we love you all. Golf's a great game. It's a great gift. They're going to give the gift. Someone gave it to me a long time ago. We're going to pass it on. So. Lots of love. We're going to cut the ribbon and uh, give it over to Eli. Oh, yeah, one thing. Uh, the donation box, the honor box is, you know, people are going to put, what is it going to be an honor box, okay? Because we're a nonprofit, so we cannot accept any uh, charge people for anything. But I'm going to start a two hour class every Saturday from 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock that will be free for any Oceanside kid. They'll be paid through the honor box. We're gonna we're gonna advertise. It'll be a two-hour class. We'll do some putting, chipping, pitching on the course, and they're gonna be uh, more than welcome. It's gonna be a year-round free class for all the kids in Oceanside. Awesome. Woo. awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, hey, Jeff. Can can you hold my phone? Or no, Jeff's got to be in there. Hey, who wants to hold my phone? Do you mind? Can yeah. you just record the whole thing? Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. Just keep the maybe down like there. that, yeah, yeah and just it. get them doing that. Thank got you it. so much. Okay. Can somebody take the picture? Right, right where you are, Ruby. Step back just a little bit. All right, so you're lining by her. Yeah, thank you. Everybody have their photos? <laughs> All right, yeah, we're good. I think we're good. Got your photos? Yep. All right, ready? One, two, three, cut! John, he's the founder of the golf course. How far are these holes? Yeah, I can probably hit one in. Lobby and Sandy, that's all I need. Who's fun is that? The, the social media manager for Go Hill. And then just remember, just like Devo said, that all the donations are going to support the nonprofit uh, programs here at Go Hill Park. So definitely appreciate that and uh, coming out and support. Devo. Thank you. Mason. Mine's mine. 
Yeah, do you want everybody down? We're just the gallery. Do you want everybody to come down? Everybody yeah, everybody come on down. You want to come down? Come on down. Come on down, guys. We're open. Hey, we're open. All right. And for the first hole, we're going to you can have as many down here but then You excited? <laughs> All right, Jane, lead us off. Yeah, Mace. Woo! <laughs> All right, Mace, you got this, dude. Woo! <laughs> oh, watch out, Toby. <laughs> yeah! Oh. Let's go, Devo. <laughs> <laughs> That's a thousand. Loyal vows. We're the loyal vows. Come on. I want it. Yeah, get the girls. That looks pretty sad. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> Oh, yeah. Jane totally leading right now. <laughs> John with the little skimmer. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go, dude. Go for it. Go for it, dude. You have a ball for him? I got it. Right there. <laughs> 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 I'm the ball, but not it. too hard. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> That's all right. That's it. Ian hit again in a second. What? <laughs> How'd that feel? Good? Nice work. Yeah. Oh, it's your birthday. <gasps> Happy birthday. <laughs> 
Yeah, Eli! <laughs> Too much adrenaline. Too much adrenaline. Nice work, Eli. <laughs> Woo! Oh, that's okay. Oh, you're on the next tee box. Good work. All good. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to put it all the way down there. The playground for adults and kids. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. <laughs> so close. All right, we got the mayor. Mayor Weiss. He's going for the putt technique. He's got a putter. Oh, it's gonna go down there. It's rolling. <laughs> gotta hit it. <laughs> Real short there, Mayor. Gotta hit it. Anybody else? Girls, come on, let's go. Lay up out. Go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, only one more. That's it. No redo. One more. Relax. Behind the marker. Yeah. Jay, Jay's gonna hit with my last. Jay and Jay and Jay. So cute. Yeah, you guys gotta go. It's 42 yards. Just look at it. Alana's going first. Alana's into it. Alana's going for it. Yeah. Help us. We're gonna hit the balls first and then we're gonna bring every bring them all back. It's, the, it's for everybody here. Use your putter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Woo! All right, everybody, we just opened the... Hi, everybody. We just opened the playground. It's a nice, cool 85 degrees. Oh, Jeff's going right now? Let me turn you... Woo! Good job, G. Went with the putting technique. Gotta give it a little bit more. It's not my special putter though. It's, it's oh, just... That one didn't fit me, right? I don't do like putter. It's a special putter. Woo! I agree. Yeah. One of the best coaches ever. Oh, and the team markers. Yeah. Famous. Jane, don't you don't hey, you know, don't be humble. You're 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 a legend. <laughs> Vera, are you gonna hit? No? Come on, you gotta do it. I'll do it with you. You wanna do it at the same time? You can do it Okay. Okay. I'll do it. Woo! You need to borrow it. I got my clubs in my car. Do you have your clubs? I have a club for her in the car, but I need to borrow it. It's all the way back up. How is it, Jay? So fun. <laughs> Welcome to the playground. Oh, beauty. All right, nice shot. Don't hit me, but. <laughs> there you go, bud. What's up, August? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys did all right. Come on. That's the worst thing I've ever done in my life. Get up there. Hey. <laughs> All right, let's go, August. Let's go. Don't take a big divot there. Here's the putter. Here's the putter. Okay, we got August. Or T's on the T. Hole number one, the playground. Woo! There we 
we go. Get up there. We got Lance. Lance is the man. Wouldn't be here without him. <laughs> go, go, go. Man, everyone's getting held up right, right before it there a little bit. All right, we got the twins. Let's go, girls, you got it. Boop. Head down, you got it. <laughs> There you go. Nice. All right, guys, we're officially open with the playground. Woohoo! And uh, we're gonna sign off live for now. But uh, catch catch the replay on here on Instagram. Probably post it on Facebook too. Everyone wants to be in here. And uh, yeah, well, come on out. Everybody's welcome here at the playground. Kids. Adults. Say goodbye to everybody. There they go. <laughs> Say goodbye, Daddy. Woo! They're all going down to get their balls. And uh, thanks so much for tuning in. We're uh, multitasking around here. But uh, yeah, thanks everybody for, for watching live. If you're live or if you're watching recorded, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Our uh, long dedication ceremony to the playground. But we're super stoked to have everybody uh, here in the community and the city of Oceanside be super supportive of, of what we're trying to do here and please come out and join us anytime. It's actually really breezy and nice up here despite the warm weather so if you have a chance to come up today cruise on over if not we'll uh, we'll see you a little later. All right over and out. Bye.